Hey guys, I'm Chris Ignato. You're watching Nature Here and Now. So this is an interesting video. It's what snakes that I've encountered do I find the cutest? Well, okay. Admittedly, I find the Kenyan sand boa to be by far the cutest snake. Um, they are super soft. They kind of have these wonky little eyes at the top of their heads. They're almost like a miniature version of an anaconda because they lay submerged in the sand with just the eyes poking out in order to catch little lizards and insects and even birds at times. Um, but they just look so goofy in a cute way when you look at them. They're extremely mild-mannered and they just kind of hang out in your hands when you hold them. And I'm completely in love with the sand boas. I never actually thought I'd be that interested in them until I started working with one. I fell in love from the very first day on. But that's not a snake I encountered in the wild. Focusing on wild snakes that I find the cutest? Well, okay, number one, no, we won't start, yeah, number one, I would say my favorite are the worm snakes. I mean, these things are so small and almost fragile. If you handle them, they never try to bite. They don't move very fast. If anything, they kind of dig their head between your fingers trying to dig because they are fossorial. These snakes are found underground, under rocks and logs and things. And very often, they're mistaken for worms because they literally look like worms. They could be, you know, pink, light brown, even dark brown. No matter what color they are, they look like worms. My favorite thing about these snakes, though, is if the sunlight hits them, well, they take on this iridescent sheen on their scales. It's just a whole bunch of rainbows. And then when they're younger, it actually shines through them and they kind of glow pinkish. I mean, that's how small these snakes can be. Light actually shines through them and they glow from it. And they're just really adorable snakes. Um, they're never aggressive, they're never angry, and they're so fragile and delicate behaving that how do you not fall in love with them? So the next snake in my region that I find very cute has to be the hognose snake. I mean, they want to act all scary and tough, right? They'll flare their neck like a cobra. You know, they will hiss at you sometimes. They rear up with that, that head kind of sitting up. And, but they've got that upturned nose and it's, they're all bark and no bite. In fact, they're, they're so cute that if they feel very threatened, they just roll over and play dead. How do you not love that? I mean, snakes are these big scary monsters? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, this one here just wants to roll over and play dead. And what's funny about it is if you roll it back over to the way it should be, it's gonna roll back over on its back with its tongue hanging out. So it kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? But then they have that other backup where they, they flare their neck to look like a cobra and it's really convincing except there's no cobras in Pennsylvania. Not naturally anyways. Um, you know, it's just a really neat snake. It's got its, its upturned nose. They got a short, fat head. And, uh, you know, these great big eyes that are used for hunting at night. And they're just adorable. They're really cute snakes. I love the texture of their scales. And if you have a younger individual, um, they can really look like a rattlesnake. And I don't know, I have just fallen in love with, with the short little face of hognose snakes. They're really cute. The next snake that I find really cute in my region is hands down the ringneck snakes. I mean, they've got these smooth scales, so they're, they're very pleasing to, to look at and to, to handle. Not that you should handle wildlife, but these snakes, again, they never try to bite. They're never aggressive or angry behaving. Most of the time, they actually just hang out in my hands if I, if I catch or handle one. Uh, but they've got these tiny little heads. They've got this bright yellow, orange belly to try to fool predators into thinking that they're a venomous species. They're found in Florida or down south. They're gonna have like these red bellies with black spots on them to resemble the coral snakes. But they're never angry. Again, these snakes are so mild-mannered and shy they spend all their time hidden. I've only seen them actually prowling about at night. Um, anytime I find them during the day, they're under rocks and logs and, you know, living a fossorial lifestyle. 
fossorial, of course, is, you know, another word for just spending most of their time underground. Uh, they're just really cute snakes. They got cute little faces, tiny little bodies. They don't get more than 20 inches, and most of the time they're half that size. That right there makes them pretty cute. So, yeah, I love me the ringneck snakes. Okay, so the last cute snake that I could think of that I found around here has to be the red bellies. I mean, those snakes are, well, they never get very large, just like the ringnecks and the worm snakes. They're on the small side, but these snakes, they move about, like, especially if being handled, they kind of have this apologetic manner about them. They always seem so worried, like, oh, sorry, I don't want to upset you. And how do you not find that cute? Um, they're very similar to ringnecks. They have this either bright yellow belly kind of around here. Um, and some of them will have this red belly, which is why they're called red bellies. And that's for the same reason as the ringnecks. It's to look like other venomous species that you can find down south. And it's aposomatic coloration or aposomatic coloration. You, you've got these highly contrasting colors and it's meant to fool predators into thinking this is a dangerous you know, venomous animal that can harm me. But it's all looks. It's all bark and no bite. I know that's a theme with this video, but it makes them cute, doesn't it? Um, you know, again, if you find a ringneck or a red belly and you can't tell which it is, uh, the, the ringnecks have a complete ring around their neck. The red bellies often have a ring, but it is incomplete at the, the back of the neck. It's not a complete ring. And um, another characteristic is the fact that the red bellies usually have these little stripes going along their back, and the ringnecks simply don't have them. You know, the ringnecks are very smooth scaled snakes, whereas the scales on the red bellies aren't smooth like that. Okay, so I know it's not very professional for me to be talking about what snakes I find the cutest, but come on, they're cute snakes, and people like to know what snakes I find the cutest. There's your answer. I'm sure there's many more snakes out there that I find to be really cute, but those are the ones in my region that I find somewhat regularly that I can think of right now. Like my scatter snakes. If you like snakes, check out my other snake videos. And if you like cute things, the acorn weevil I filmed, one of the cutest creatures I've ever found. And of course, all salamanders I find to be really cute especially the long-tailed salamanders. So check those videos out. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, and I'll see you in my next video.